Hello YouTube. It's your girl Kwanai. And welcome to my channel Kwanai Covers where I Kwanai cover various aspects of entertainment. And today's aspect, we're going to do another commentary video and we're going to talk about Black Swan. One of the few international, interracial K-pop groups out there. We have an Indian member, a Brazilian slash white member, a black member, and a biracial member. Black Swan is a four-member multinational group under the label of DR Entertainment. And it consists of members Fatu, Sri Lanka, Nevi, and Gabi. If you watch my reaction to Black Swan's karma, you would see where I gave a little bit more information on the background of how Black Swan came to be with the current four members. They have undergone so many changes, you know, from being initially Rainia to now becoming Black Swan, from gaining members to losing members to switching out. Now there is no Korean members left in the group. So some people say, well then, if there's no Korean members, is it considered a K-pop group? Yes, I do think it's still a K-pop group, even though none of the members are Korean. They all have invested the time to the, do the training like most Koreans, and they've even learned the language, which I think is so impressive. And they're showing their appreciation for the culture of Korea, which is why they're choosing to do music in Korea and promote in Korea as a K-pop group is what I see. So in this video, I'm just gonna give you my overall thoughts of what I think about this group. But before we get into the video, do not forget to check out my playlist of the other content I do on the channel, such as vlogs and commentary like this one. And my social media is all Kwanai covers, so don't be shy, you can check me out on the other side. One more thing, do not forget to like and comment and share if you care. Okay, when I found out that Black Swan has finally finalized their members and I saw the lineup, I felt so elated. Happy, 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 happy. <laughs> because I think this is the most cohesive lineup that they could have come up with. After seeing the members perform and seeing them behind the scenes, the chemistry is good to me. To me, this is just the combination that was meant to be. They needed to go through Helen back, specifically Fatu, to get to the current members because I think this is just works so much better with this group of people. The synergy just seems so natural. So I personally think the lineup, first of all, is really good. I love it. And every member is giving their own individual charm and they're coming with their own culture. There is so much potential and there is no limit to what the group can do in terms of concept because of how many nationalities is within one group it can build such a bond and blend of cultures that's just gonna be a beautiful melting pot of just amazingness and they came back with the song karma which I think was really good really good great like really good song really good comeback even their song cat and mouse which is a sidetrack it was really good too so i am very excited for the next comeback they have and i really pray that they're only going to be successful but my question now is what is their goal is their goal to be successful in korea or is their goal to be internationally successful i'm gonna assume their goal is to be internationally successful in any trade that you're doing whether singing or dancing the goal normally is to be the best at whatever you're doing so i do believe the end goal is to be as big as possible and that includes outside of korea but then you would ask why didn't they start off as just an international group instead of a k-pop group well i think based on the success of bts and blackpink um the world is seeing that the k-pop formula of marketing through korea is the best way to go because once you get the fans liking the group from in the korean k-pop um aspect of it then it's easy for them to share it over into the international borders because that's what happened he started liking bts they were just a korean group and now with the help of the fans the group is probably a household name right now in america which is crazy when you think about it so i think because the k-pop formula has been proven to work more than once that is why most groups, whether they're Korean or not, think it's best to try the K-pop 
formula and method to get to the big game. At least that is just my opinion on why it, it the group is promoting through Korea. Plus, DR music is from Korea. Now, something I often wonder is, how does the Koreans receive this group? Because you guys know Korea is quite homogeneous and very stuck in their ways. And while they are changing, they still seem to be pretty ignorant about a lot of stuff. Which, you know, based on that video I made with Aeon, it seems they are still pretty ignorant. Um, what I'm saying is, how are they reacting to seeing girls that are not white and not Korean, but like dark skin, biracial, and Indian. Gabby is more, to me, fitting of the Korean beauty standard. Right now, Fatu is the most popular one, but then she's been around for the longest and she's been withstanding the changes in all the members. It's only natural that her popularity continue to grow. And maybe she could also be popular because she's dark skinned and she's a black woman and it's fascinating to the Koreans. But while they are fascinated by the group and the different racial members, will they actually be accepting? And I'm asking this because BTS are all Korean and they found it hard to be accepted amongst the Koreans. For a while, the Koreans weren't really pushing BTS as much as the international fans. BTS had more international fans pushing them at one point than the Koreans. It's only until BTS became so popular overseas as like the Koreans could not um, deny their influence and all started accepting them so how are they going to treat someone who's not even korean because even though they still have problems with idols that are from china and thailand apparently allegedly based on what i'm seeing on the internet it seems there's still this click of if you're korean you're going to be more accepted and i can understand it it's kind of like a tribal mentality where you know you are one of us so we will support you if you're not one of us not so much i think this but out of the mouth of fatu herself she says she gets more hate from the international fans than the korean fans now isn't that interesting that's really interesting to me is that really the truth i thought the international fans would be the first ones to have an open arm towards the multinational group but i'm hearing that the koreans are more accepting than the international fans and i thought about it a little bit more and i'm saying ah i can see that because the international fans seems to be the most vocal when it comes to what's considered k-pop because the usual basic indicator indicators of a k-pop group traditionally is what made the international k-pop fans like k-pop in the first place and i feel like maybe the reason the international fans feels this way is because when they started liking k-pop to them it was something different people that look like them started to do the same thing it doesn't feel like it's special anymore i do think that k-pop is unique because it's koreans and once it's no longer koreans doing it it doesn't feel as unique and special and it doesn't feel like they have discovered something amazing anymore it's becoming too mainstream and uh, regular and normal that's just my theory as to why the international fans would ever not want to accept black swan because i'm still i'm still baffled by that thought because again the koreans are so homogeneous so even if they're not saying anything bad right now about black swan the truth is will they spend their money and support them as much as another korean group you know how the k-pop industry is extremely competitive every month there's a new debut there's so much competition and then you already have the big four companies where they already get a head start because any group they release is going to be seen in the public eye so imagine this group is fighting against all these born korean groups how will the Koreans general public really accept them? I don't really know the answer to this. I'm gonna have to just watch and see how this plays out and see if my theory that the international fans in the end will be the ones that really accept Black Swan the most or if, if that's gonna be debunked. I'm very curious to see how this ends up. All in all, I want nothing but success for Black Swan because I really like this group. I just feel like I can relate to the group. I guess representation really does matter because it just feels good seeing a black girl doing K-pop stuff and fulfilling a dream that I only could dream of because it takes a level of dedication and hard work and consistency 
and the right jeans, I'm not going to lie, because it's not just any black girl can be a K-pop idol. You have to have a certain look, a certain figure, and let's not fool ourselves. There's still a beauty standard, black or Indian. Do you realize whether or not they're black or Indian, they all can fit a little bit into the standard by being slender, small face, and certain features that the Koreans would actually like. Anyway, what I'm sharing right now is just my thoughts and opinions. I just think that Black Swan may have some challenge being accepted in Korea, but that's just my opinion. Um, I would love to be pleasantly surprised if it's the opposite, but personally as an international fan, I really, really appreciate this group even existing in the first place. What are your guys' thoughts on Black Swan? How do you think they're going to be doing in the K-pop industry? Do you think Korea is going to accept them? Or is it really going to be the international fans that pushes this group? Let me know in the comment section and I'll see you next time. Bye!